Services gives you lots of ways to get the right people in the right places at the right times. Let's start with the most important piece of all, your people, all the staff and volunteers who make your church happen. That's a great looking group you got there, but wouldn't it be nice if you could organize them somehow? In services, we do that with teams like band, tech, children, and welcome. For each team, there are certain jobs that need to be done. Each of those jobs is called a position. Once you've created your teams and positions, it's time to assign people to their roles. Let's take a closer look at the band. Of course, lots of times you'll have people who take on a number of different roles. Allie's one of the vocalists, but she can also play keys, so she can be assigned to both of those positions. Each person can also be on more than one team. Dave's one of the bass players, but when he's not doing that, he also fills in as a greeter for the welcome team. Now that you've got your people organized, how do you keep track of who's serving every week? For each job that you need to fill, you can create a needed position. Just enter the number of people who will serve in that role. For example, let's go with four greeters. Now I can already hear what you're saying. That's great and all, but I don't wanna recreate the same roster every single week. Well, that's where templates come in. There's no need to start from scratch every week. Just pull in the template you've built and you're off to the races. When one person fills the same slot most of the time, you can go ahead and add their name to the template. That way they'll automatically be scheduled and you don't have to select them by hand every time. For the rest of your needed positions, you can always pick people one by one. Or you can use a super speedy option called auto scheduling. With a click of a button, services will choose someone for every open slot. These picks aren't shots in the dark either. The auto schedule selections are based on the last time they served, any conflicts or preferences, and even if other members of their household have already been scheduled. Now, if you really wanna take your scheduling to the next level, the way to do it is with the matrix. Forget one week at a time. With the matrix, you can schedule as many weeks as you want all at the same time. Of course, this can help you add people even more efficiently, but the biggest benefit is actually on the communication side. When you schedule one week at a time, your volunteers get a separate email for each week. But when you send your scheduling emails from the matrix, it sends a single email to each volunteer with all of their different assignments. That means they're more likely to read it and more likely to respond to it. Now we're gonna explore a few more options and see when they might be a good fit for your church. Let's start with split teams. With a split team, you have one big group of people who can serve at different times. A common case would be the welcome team, where you have one crew that serves at 9 a.m. and a separate crew that serves at 11 a.m. They're all part of the same team, but they're split across different service times. Next on the list is a tag team. What that means is any person who has the right tags will automatically be added to this team. Let's say you have a choir at your church and they sing at different types of services, Sunday morning, Sunday evening, midweek, and special services like Christmas. Even though there's technically a different team for each service type, the choir has the exact same group of people. As members change, you have to add or remove them from all of those different teams one by one, unless you link all those teams to the same tags. Let's look at how this works. Instead of adding members to four different teams, you'll just add the tags that are required for each position, like tenor, for example. If we wanna add Alex, we'll put a tenor tag on his profile and he'll automatically be assigned to each of those teams. If you have any teams that require a background check, you can make them secure teams. On a secure team, if someone doesn't have a background check, they can't be scheduled. Once they have their background check in place, then everything works just the same as a normal team. You can make any type of team into a secure team, including split teams and tag teams. Finally, here's one strategy that lets your people share some of the work with you. Once you have all your needed positions set up, you can send it out to your team as a sign-up sheet. That way, they can choose which times they'd like to serve and sign themselves up directly. We've created all of these options to help you schedule your teams in a way that works for you. And if you need any help as you go, our support team is always just one click away.